This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are going to talk about how to pose your thralls in pretty much any position you want them. Let's get to it. So in my recent videos in the background, I've had thralls posed all kinds of different ways. I've even posed my character a bunch of different positions while setting. And I've had numerous amounts of people down in the comments section asking me how I do it. So instead of answering every single one of you, I decided to make a video to answer you all at the same time. The mod that I use is called Devious Desires. That's the mod that allows you to pose your thralls in pretty much any position as well as your character. However, I highly recommend also getting the mod control panel and the less building placement restrictions mod. So without further ado, let's get into how to use this mod to pose your thralls however you want. All right, so here we are. I have two thralls here that we are going to put in some positions here in this nice little scene that I have made here. Now, all you have to do is grab your thrall, of course, and pick them up and put them where you want them. And this is where the less building placement restrictions comes into play because there is currently a bug that will not let you place your thrall for example that close to the wall like that or do something like place your thrall on top of a bucket now in order to bring up the menu to set those settings you are just going to hit shift and end and that is going to bring up this screen here then you are going to scroll all the way down until you see the follower options and you are going to allow placement of followers close to other followers and disable most checks for walkable floor. And then you're going to click save and then you're going to click close. And that is going to allow you to get your thralls in the position that you want them so that you can then start to pose them. Otherwise, you're going to have to do things like place your thrall all the way out here. And then hopefully you'll be able to move them back and I'll show you how to position them better once we get to that point. But then you would have to try to hopefully get them close enough that you can get them where you want them. It's much easier if we can, for example, just place her on top of this like so and start to pose her. Now, when I hit the next key combo that I'm going to hit, you're gonna see some blur on the screen and I have to do that because this mod has some YouTube inappropriate photos showing you the poses that you're putting your thrall in. I'm going to only blur out the parts that I have to so you'll be able to see everything else. You just won't be able to see me clicking on specific poses. So once you are ready to pose your thrall, you are going to hit Shift and H and that is going to bring up this menu here. Now, from this menu, you're gonna see a bunch of different poses. Once again, it's kind of blurred out so that you can't see it because it puts them in the Durketto outfit and, you know, YouTube doesn't like boobs. You have a little arrow down over here that you can click to hide each of the different categories so that you can only see the categories that you want to see. And I'm going to hide them all so you can see now what the entire screen looks like. For this pose, I want to have her setting. Now, I don't see the setting because the setting is a context option. And if I was in a chair and I brought up this menu, I would see the sitting options, but I'm not in a chair, so I don't see the sitting options. So what I'm going to do is down here, it says toggle contacts slash partner animations visibility on and off. It's off by default. We're going to click it. That is going to bring up two new categories and the category that we're looking for is the sitting ones, which you see, well, they're blurred obviously, but they are here. So now to position our thrall, we need to set the thrall as a target. If I just click, for example, this one here, it puts my character in that position. I don't want my character in that position. I want the thrall in that position. So down here at the bottom, it says select target to force emotes. So I'm going to click that and you can see one added to targets. This thrall is named one. That's something else that I should have actually started with and meant to start with and forgot. Make sure you name your thralls different names. Uh, it gets a little wonky if they have the same name. So make sure you name them different names. I just named this one one and our other thrall all to two. So when I click this, it says that it's added them to the targets. Now they're the target, not me. So now what I'm going to do is try to find a pose that I think is going to look good for where I want her. And something like this is not too bad. I think this will honestly probably work or maybe something a little more relaxed, something like that. Now you can see, obviously she is on top of the barrel and we want her to look like she is sitting on the barrel. And that is where we bring up this menu here, which is the puppeteering menu. And I'm actually going to move this over out of the blur so that you can see this now. So this is what the puppeteering menu looks like. And this allows us to do things like move our 
camera position, which we're not going to fool with right now, but that that's going to move the position on our actual character here. And I'll show you that in a minute. What we want is the character adjustments, and that's going to allow us to do things like you can see there in the back. We're lifting her up and pushing her down. So we're going to push her down just a little bit till it looks like she is sitting on that. And then I'm actually going to move her back just a little bit there. And then we can move her to the left and the right. Now, if we change this here where it says location, you click this, you get the option to tilt her and you get the option to tilt her left and right. This is front and back. And this is to rotate your character in the position that you want them. So I'm going to rotate her just a little bit like so. Now, let's say, for example, you don't like the position that their head is in or you don't like the position that their arms are in. We can adjust those as well with the head adjustment and the arm adjustment. By default, that is off. We're going to click that to turn it on. And now we can adjust her arms and her head. So we can tilt her head up and down. I'm going to tilt it just a little bit forward there. We can tilt it left and right. I'm going to straighten it up just a little bit and we can turn it to the left and right as well. I'm going to click this button here to reset it. All of these buttons here on the side and for any of these menus here that you see here, these will reset whatever setting that you've done. So if I want to, for example, reset the head tilt, I can just click that and that resets it. If I want to reset all of them, I can click reset up here and that will just reset all of them. So I'm just going to redo that real quick here. That's a, that's a general pose for our character there. Now, the important thing you want to do when you are done all of this is you want to make sure you click on clear target. Otherwise, the, you're going to keep moving that target. So you want to make sure you clear her as your target. I like to click it twice just to make sure because sometimes I feel like it doesn't actually do it. So I click it twice just to be on the safe side. Now, if we exit out of everything, we can take a look here. I think I may have her a little. Yeah, her feet are a little down in the ground. Is her butt in there? Yeah, and her butt's in there. So now what I'm going to do here just to make sure she looks proper, I'm going to actually get a side view of her so that I can line her up a little bit better. So let's just make her the target. I'm going to bring up the menu again and target her. And now she's my target and I'm just going to make sure I'm in a good position here. And then I'm going to bring up the puppeteer menu again. And now that I got a good view of her, we're going to raise her up just a little bit. And now actually, I think this might be a situation where we need to tilt her just a little bit so that her feet aren't uh, sunk all the way in the ground and we want to move her forward just a little more. Yeah, there we go. So that's more, that looks more natural there. And we can exit out of both of these menus and take a look. Yeah, there we go. So now she's just setting. Honestly, we'd probably want her back towards this a little bit more, but you guys get the general idea of how to do a general pose. So now let's take a look at some animations and other stuff. So we have our new target here and I have targeted him. It now says target two has been added to our targets and I have targeted him. You can see here it says two added to the targets. So now he is our target. Let's take a look at facial expression. You can see here on the side, we have different tabs. I am not going to be showing any of the lewd stuff, but there is plenty of lewd stuff. Use your imagination. You can check it out when you download the mod. And by the way, I will link the download or the, the mod page for this one and the other two mods down in the description. So we're going to take a look at some facial stuff here. So you have some different facial expressions we can put on him. We got different eye expressions that we can do and we can change his mouth. We can give him a winky eye, you know, something like that. There we go. So now he's got some crazy facial expression. We're going to go back to the regular expressions and I'm going to get an animated emote. So here is one of the cool emotes that come with this. It's one of the new ones. You can see he's playing a musical instrument. I know this is one that a bunch of people have been interested in. So here we go. He's playing a musical instrument. Now let's take a look at how we can speed that up and slow it down. So we're back in the puppeteering menu. So we can do this and change this here. This is going to adjust how quickly he moves. We can click this to reset it. We can click the little plus in the minus here to change it in small increments. You can also click inside the little box to put a number that you want in there and then just hit return. So we're going to set that back to zero. And then the cool one here is you can click this little red icon here to toggle the oscillation. So that will make him move erratic. So it will make him speed up sometimes. It will slow him down at other times and kind of make the movements a little more natural feeling. So you can see there he just went really fast and now he's slowing down 
down again, and it just makes the movements look better. If you click over here where it has the little arrows, you can pause the movements all together. For some reason, the instrument removes when you pause it. Not sure why that happens, but you can pause him completely and you can actually take it into the negatives. And that is the same as going forward. So you can see here I'm at negative one. And in order to slide this, you just click in the box and then slide your mouse left or right if you just want to slide it. But you can see there that when I take it into the negatives, it's actually the same as increasing it to the positives. The only way to make him stop altogether is to put it at zero. If you do that, it's the same as pausing it. If you want to stop the animations altogether and reset him completely, you can just click down here where it says stop all animations. You can also stop specific animations. Like if I don't like his face, I can just click that. You can see he closed his mouth and he stopped doing the winky eye. I can do the stop the arms offset animation if I have used this to change the arms at all. And this down here works the same as it does with the, the how I showed you the head. And I'll show you that here in detail in a second. So you can click this to stop that, or you can stop the, the animation emote. I'm just going to click stop to stop him altogether. So now I have him in a new emote, and this is just a relaxing emote. I want to show you the arms. So we can click this once again to turn the arms on. So now we are posing the head and the arms. Right now they're linked. So his left and right are linked. Anything that I do with those is going to do the same thing to both of them. Let's say I want to move one or the other. We just click that little chain right there that unlinks them. Now I'm only messing with the right one so I can pose the right one just where I want it and then I can click the left one and just by clicking that R it swaps to the left one and then I can move the left one and get it where I want it. So now he's leaning on, I don't know, something strange. If I don't like any of it, I can click the reset here to reset them all. Or once again, I can click down here to reset them individually. Okay, so now let's talk about setting scenes and two person emotes because there are those as well. So I'm gonna use this guy as our target for that. And in order to do that, what we are going to do is bring up the puppeteering menu once again, and we're gonna click this little blue one down here that says start and end partner scene. Once you do that it puts the two of us together and it also brings up the partner menu and this is the different animations that we can put ourselves in with the partner now there is a lot more of these under the lewd option once again not going to be showing the lewd option but for now let's just do something like a uh, a hug so here we are we are hugging now if we bring up the puppeteering menu we have some options here when we are in a scene and I'm going to bring this over here once again so that you can see what's going on and it's not blurred. So here we are in the puppeteer menu and this is the last tab here, the scene tab. You can see that it has us listed here and it has our person that we're in the scene with. Now we can do a couple of different things here like we can select us as an actor. Now we are selected. So anything that we do over here is going to affect just us. So let's say for example, I want to swap us and rotate us around. So now we are hugging him from behind. I can do the same thing with him if I was to select him as the actor. What we are going to do though, we are going to reset ourselves and I'll show you that here. So we will unclick that. We will click the B animation or the B here, which is him as the actor. He is actor B and we can come over here and we can do the same thing for him. Let's say I don't like his head pose. So we can move his head up just a little bit or we can move it down. So there he is. He's super sad and we it now looks like we are consoling him and we can also mess around with the camera. So we can move the camera to the left or to the right. We can zoom it in, we can zoom it out, and we can push it up and down. I'm going to just reset that there and leave it where it was. We can also switch our positions. So if I click this here, it's going to swap the two of us. So now we are swapped in the position of the hugging animation. So if I uncheck the hugging animation and I select it again, it's going to put me where he is and him where I am. So I'm just going to Click the hugging animation again, and there you can see it has swapped our positions. This comes into play more on different animations. Let's, let's see if I can find one here where it makes a little bit more sense. So here is the backwards hug. So now we are doing a proper backwards hug. And if I just do this and I click the backwards hug again, there you go. You can see how that plays out. Swaps me and now I'm the one hugging him instead of him hugging me. We can also refresh the scene. And if you highlight over it, you can see it tells you what refreshing the scene does there. It's going to update the scene and resync everything.
everything and all of the animations. So if I do something like swap us, I'm just gonna swap him over and then I click refresh, it swaps it and puts us in the proper positions. It basically does the same thing when I click the same animation button over here, it does the exact same thing. If I wanna boot a specific actor from the scene, I can do that with this. So all I have to do is select the actor that I wanna boot and click that and it boots them well apparently booted us both out. I guess you need to for that scene to happen, but you should be able to boot a specific actor out by clicking them and selecting or having them selected and booting them that way. There is the option to start a carry scene too in which you will pick up another person. However, I have not been able to get this to work with a thrall. It should work with a person, uh, but for some reason I cannot get it to work with a thrall and I'm not sure why. Next, we have this little menu down here that says default by default. And then when you highlight over it, it says anim A, B, C, D, E. This allows you to swap the different animation positions if you want to do an animation that's a partner animation and it's just yourself. So for example, let's do something like the hugging animation. So here we go, we are at the back, we are the hugger. If I click N and B and I click it again, you can see now we have changed positions. You can see this a little bit easier if I do something like the comforting position here. I click that, that is B, and I click it again, that is A. We have swapped positions. Last but not least, we have the guidebook, which gives you a rundown on what to do and how to use this. It's pretty self-explanatory for the most part it doesn't go into a ton of detail but it does give you a, a general uh, synopsis on how to operate things and operate the mod you have different user settings that you can go through here if you are an admin and change the different well these are your specific user settings and then these are your admin settings that you can set as an admin you can also get to those settings by clicking the little gear here that shows you your user settings and your admin settings and all of that one last thing I want to cover here is that you can also save specific settings. So you have a bunch of different slots here. All you have to do is click the slot that you want to save to. Once you have that slot saved, you just are active. You can just click save. So let's say, for example, I want a higher up camera here. I can click save slot one and save, and then that is saved to slot one. So we can go back to default and then I go back to slot one and it immediately moves my camera up. So that's just a quick way to get character adjustments and camera adjustments back if you want them you can just do that i find it helpful more for the camera than anything all right and i think that pretty much covers it for everything for this mod if you have any questions or anything let me know down there in the comment section i'll do my best to answer them and if you found this video helpful or informational consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload other videos i want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free you all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.